Secret police came at two o'clock in the morning, knock on the door. They spent three or four hours going through every bit of paper and book and everything in the, in the small apartment. Everyone had small apartments. And then took my father away and, that, and my mother never saw him again. And nor even knew why he was arrested. There were never reasons given. I'm John Utley. I was born in Moscow in 1934. My father was Russian, my mother was English. Um, I'm here because of my, when I was born, they knew already Russian babies could not leave the country without special permission. So when I was born, my mother put me on her passport. It was already dangerous then. They knew many people had been arrested. It was, the handwriting was on the wall and my father was arrested two years later. At that time, Stalin was really liquidating the, the Russians who knew about the outside world, of which my father had served in England. He, he'd lived in America. Uh, he'd studied in Switzerland. We got a little letter from the Soviet embassy saying he had died in the state of Komi, that's northern Russia, that he died in 1938. Many years later, I went back, a Russian friend of mine, a professor here, uh, had told me, now you can find the documents of what happened. So we went, he went first and then I followed and we went to the FSB, which was the KGB, that's the secret police, uh, archives in Moscow. We found the documents and they said, well, there's more in northern Russia. They had a picture there, the best picture I have of is, is his mugshot when he was arrested because it had been in the file for 50, what, 60 years. I had a little card, a five by seven card about who he was that was from their files. And then it had a note transferred to the third department. I think if I'm, my memory is correct, third department meant execution. There was a place called the Brick Quarry, B-R-I-C-K. In Solzhenitsyn's book, Gulag Archipelago, he mentions the brick quarry where two to three thousand people were executed for tr being troublemakers in the camps. And my, uh, my father, they learned, had been one of those. We walked out to this place where the men, men and women had been executed in groups of 40. Uh, the Soviets sent special execution squads from, from Moscow to do, to do it. It took out 3,000, it's two to 3,000, were mass shot by machine gun fire and the bodies left there. My story is a tiny one, millions of people had this. Thank you.